everybody. Guess what today is? My birthday. <laughs> so we came to this place, and we've been here before, and I think I have a video on this place. I'm not sure. It's called KM 45.5, and that means it's 45.5 kilometers from Cebu City, north, going north. And they have all these little uh, cabanas to rent here. The car parking, by the way, to get in to park your car. That's a car we brought. That's not mine. That's my brother-in-law's car. It's his car. But uh, it's, it's, it's 50 pesos for a car and 20 for motorcycles. So we are going to over here and check this water out, man. They actually have good coral here, too, if you like to snorkel or dive. And they have fish here, too. Somebody said that's a marine protected area, but it's not marked off. But check out that water. Look at that. That stuff is crystal clear, man. It's beautiful. So I brought my mask and my snorkel, and I also brought my Acaso. Uh, it's like GoPro underwater camera. It'll do 30 feet without a without a case. So anyway, we're going to be diving out there, and uh, I'm, we're on my phone right now. But out there, and that kind of from that corner thing there, going out, there's a lot of coral out there. Nice uh, tabletop and stuff, and fish too. And uh, over here, it's nothing it's a swimming area that's all kind of just rocks it's already been kind of uh decoraled by now with all the people so it won't grow up close but out there it's just a few meters out there it's 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 nice and everything so anyway we will be back they're jumping off there and you go around that corner there's another cliff to jump off and around a little bit more and there's an old house it's actually a house they were building, and they got so far and just abandoned it. Stopped building. It's a really cool house, but it's just not finished, and now it's kind of falling apart. But anyway, this is the place. Really nice. And I can't believe that water is so beautiful today. This is high tide now, so it's going to be high tide for a few hours. Noon is high tide, so we're 11.20, 11 11.20, roughly. So yeah, so noon's high tide. That I believe is Camotes Island. There's two little islands side by side with, uh, called you know, Camotes, which I think Camotes means sweet potato. So anyway, and if you go further, you're at Leyte. Over if you see any mountains or things further past there, that's Leyte. So anyway, we are going to get busy. This is the you know little cabana we rented. I don't know how much the commander rates are. I think they're six or eight hundred, so which isn't too bad. Just twelve bucks or sixteen bucks for day use. So anyway, we are starting the barbecue grill, and we'll be back with more for my friend guys on Italian Island. Bye for now. We brought the dog too. You can have dogs here. Bye for now. Hello, everybody. We moved down here to where the action is away from the cabana we're busy cooking there but they got a new bridge here because this high high tide and it's coming across here normally there's a concrete walk there but people might not want to get wet crossing so we got to see the whole line of these things well typhoon actually blew all this out before it was all gone, and they rebuilt it within the last six months. But yeah, the, the tide is high. I'm not sure whose fishing boat this is. It's got a little motor. Yeah, there's a little motor there. Maybe five or seven horsepower. And a little propeller yeah. <coughs> <That> little guy <coughs> this, this is the cabana in the round we're getting into music so I'm gonna have to dub in some non copyright music on top of it so you don't hear it everything this is July the 3rd by the way I don't know what the deal is but everybody's here They're building new new stuff here too. 
Hey, how's it going? See, they're building the new ones here. Look, do I know what a Havana frame looks like? And they're using the trees. They actually have a bunch of trees up there, and they cut them down. And they may be buying these. I don't know, but these are trees. These are tree trunks here, not bamboo, but cocoa wood and trees. See those little run tenders? Those are from the trees that they grow on the pot project. They cut limbs and stuff down and use them. And there's a little barbecue area. This might be uh, like a public barbecue area here. Oh yeah, look at that. We got all kinds of fish that are going up here. Chicken fish. Pork belly. You name it, all the Filipino delights. Yeah, there's their, there's, there's all their wood that they're using cocoa wood and stuff. But they do pretty good care of the place. And they're constantly building. When I was here before, they are building a whole bunch of new ones up on the hill here. And we all got wiped out by the typhoon, so <laughs> they're rebuilding. See, they got the stairs and stuff going up there. They have the little walkway. You can walk on. You don't want to walk on the rocks because they're kind of twist your ankle. There we go. Little seawall here. Everybody's got their little floaties. I really like their big wall here. Made from that rock. They do a nice job of concrete work. Yeah, here's the cabanas they built before. Yeah, these are 600 pesos, so, so right there. And that thing, 600. Now we're going up the stairs. And look out at the rocks and stuff. People. A few vendors here selling stuff, but not a lot. So we're up high now, and they still got more of these. There it is. Oh boy. Let's see. Now that's the side that we're on over there, one of the that little corner area there. But definitely recommend this place. We've been here twice. This is the second time. Like I said, you've probably seen a video before. All this was trees and stuff that they cut down uh, to make some of these with. And they put a gate in here. That's a new gate that I, as far as I know, they never had that before. Okay. It's very friendly here, especially the foreigners. A lot of them will just say hi. <laughs> offer you a, a drink, a beer, or uh, some type of tandaway rum or something. <laughs> oh, here's that house I was telling you about, right there. A nice place. It was pretty big and kind of fancy and right on the cliff, see? Right on the cliff. And for some reason, they just shut down construction 10 years ago, maybe, and nothing's happened since. Nothing at all. But that'd have been a great place. Oh, it didn't fall off the cliff. But look at the drop. And see, you got your stairs going down into here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And again, the water is just gorgeous today, man. Just gorgeous. Yeah, I'm up on the cliff here. See all that? There's a point that they jump off of there. Yeah, see there, un under there, they got like a little under the, under the uh, cave, like the, you know, where you could put your submarine, but it doesn't go under there. There's something under there. Maybe you can go under and around and back out or something. I don't know what that, that is, but it's a little, little opening in that house. See it? 
there were some people there standing walking maybe they came maybe there's some stairs on that side and they swam over and got up but yeah nice place i like those little palms too those are nice uh landscaping palms but yeah see they're making the stairs down to the wa water and make them over here and do some snorkeling although you have to get out there probably all the coral the nice looking corals over on the corner by where we're at walk this wall here just be kind of careful see this one typhoon probably got it yeah see they build stuff here and then you come back 20 years and you don't know what was there but something was see right here that little tank thing you got me. Maybe it, well, it can't be a whale. There's no, I mean, it would put a whale next to the ocean because you get salt water in your whale. So, anyway, we will take another look back and we will be back with more from my paradise on the Tangan Island. Bye.